Slice off a small half pound piece of clay and flatten it out with a rolling pin. Alternate the direction of the slab as you roll so that the clay particles evenly spread out. Smooth both sides with a rib. This helps compress the clay particles together. Trace a circle about 4 to 5 inches in diameter. I'm using my cup to do so. Peel the excess clay away. With an X-Acto or fettling knife, cut half inch darts every inch and a half around the circumference. Leave one section larger than the others. The handle will go here. Slip and score and overlap of the darts. This pulls them up and inward, creating a wall for the spoon rest. That larger section, gently compress down and out so a handle can be attached later. Gently score over the overlaps in the opposite direction. Smooth out the score marks. I'm using the rounded end of a wooden knife to do so.
A slap handle will work, but I'm going to pull one. Pat your clay into a rail spike shape. Dip your hand in water and begin pulling down on the clay. Change the angle of the clay so both sides are even. The movement is very similar to milking an udder. Dip your hand back in water when the clay is giving resistance, or the motion feels more like dragging than pulling. Make sure not to choke the top of the clay or the bottom. Be gentle as you add and remove your hand's pressure from the clay. For more help, search YouTube for pulling a handle or see Rhonda's one and two part handle pulling videos. I run my thumb down the center of the pole for extra flair, but it is not needed. Carefully lay the handle down on your board and let it stiffen up in front of a fan or return to it for next class. Now that the clay is stiffer between plastic and leather hard, further smoothing out can happen. The clay is less likely to mar or bend now. Score the overlap with a serrated rib and then smooth it out. Next, trim the uneven rim so it is flat and uniform. I recommend using an X-Acto knife for this. Soften the rim's edge. Cut the extra bulky end off the handle. Bevel cut the handle at the end that will attach to the rest. I used a metal rib for this, but using a fettling knife, like you would a paring knife, would work too. Slip and score the handle to the rest. Bevel cut the other handle end so it is less bulky, and then fold it under. Use a mini sponge as a platform for the handle.
Use a knife or hole trimming tool to cut a hole at the end of the handle. Clear it of clay boogers. Rubbing a smooth tool inside the hole will help clean it up in there too. To finish up, take a damp chamois and smooth over the edges. Watch my quick tips video on chamois use for more information. Let the spoon rest come to the leather hard stage before placing it on the greenware cart. 